Hey everyone, it's me Fatima, all the way from the Gambia. I hope everyone is doing well and I hope everyone is blessed. So I wanted to come to you today to at least give you several reasons. I want to at least give you seven reasons why you should leave America. Um, these re reasons are in no particular order, but they are some. there is some information that I definitely want you to have at least seven reasons why you should leave. But before I start, I want you all to check out my website, blackwomennetworking.com. It takes you to my Amazon page where I am selling some journal books and selling an African activity book for the kids. Okay, so check that information out if this is a way that you can help support me by buying these books um, that I've been that I've worked real hard on. Okay, all right, so let's speak about seven reasons why you should leave America. Okay, so reason number one is good food. Yes, I know that sounds crazy, but yes, good food. For one, as you know, many of the foods that we have that we are that is being produced in America has lots of chemicals in them. And you cannot be sure which one of those chemicals could actually harm you. And some of those chemicals can actually they they've been shown to have um create like cancer, have the ability to give you cancer or maybe any other um, um, health care, I mean, health issues. So one of the things is that if you live abroad in other countries, they you have a higher chance of getting good organic food. Did you know that there's many foods that's on the list that is banded in, like, for example, Europe? There's many food that we eat, that many people eat on a daily, that is banded in Europe like for example they don't do Mountain Dew they don't do um, like a lot of the cereals that we eat Fruit Loops tricks because it has those dyes in the food the dyes that changes the colors like for the colorful cereals like yellow number five and I think dye red dye I, I forgot what the number is called but they don't serve a lot of those foods they don't serve a lot of them. Um, one of the things that I know that they don't serve over here, I mean, over in in Europe is, let's see, wheat thins. I know that sounds crazy, but wheat thins, Ritz crackers, Pop-Tarts, and some of the little Debbie cakes. They, they don't serve that stuff. Or Frosted Flakes. They don't serve that stuff in Europe. You have to ask the reason why. Why they don't serve that stuff in Europe. Hmm very interesting but yes uh one of the reasons my first reason is good food you would definitely will get the good food over in i mean outside of america you would let's see my second reason my second reason is health care oh my gosh health care oh my gosh just the cost of health care would almost give you a damn heart attack <laughs> just the cost of it so and and okay, so let me tell you about the cost of healthcare. Let me let let's speak about like one of the things of healthcare. I, I, how about having a baby? Okay, did you know that the healthcare to have a child in America, a regular delivery, will cost you eighteen thousand or more, and if you had a cesarean delivery. It will cost you at least twenty six thousand or more, and that's Lord forbid this if you have no complications and no problems. Healthcare in America has gone up, and we won't even get into the medications yet. We won't even get into the cost of the medications in healthcare. And healthcare, it really is a business. But the thing is, though, along with the bad food that you eat and that they serve us, especially in particular neighborhoods. They're hoping to keep you sick so that way it keeps you going to the doctor. And when the doctor gives you prescriptions, a lot of doctors, not all of them, get a kickback from some of the prescriptions that they give you in the healthcare system. So yes, healthcare is the second reason 
why you would want to leave America. It is a better chance for you to go to any other country and just have better health care. It's just, it may not be as luxury as it is in America, but the thing is though, it will not be as costly as it is in America. Okay. All right. Reason number three. Let's see. My third reason, childcare. That's enough to make you just lose your mind too. Childcare. The cost of childcare is absolutely ridiculous. Okay. So let's see. I'm looking at my notes when you see me looking down. So let's see. Childcare. For an infant, the average cost for childcare at a daycare center is $321 a week. $321 a week. For a toddler, it is $293 a week for one child. That's just the average in the U.S. And then also, if you have two kids that's in daycare or in some type of child care, it is $556 average per week for two babies, for two kids, two toddlers. And then the after-school program, that's crazy. After-school programs average for one child is $292 a week. And for two kids is $305 a week. That should be enough for you to pack your bags and want to move over to another country. I will say here, where I'm located in Africa, um, the child care, obviously the child care is a way lot cheaper here. Did you know that in many countries you can get a nanny, for a, a nanny who will come over and take care of your babies, take care of your children right there in the house while you're doing your online work. And a lot of them work for less than $100 a month. $100 a month. But if you want to pay them more, I'm sure they'll take it. But yeah, child care here in other countries is not expensive. It is nowhere near like how it is in the U.S. So that's reason number three why you would probably want to relocate to another country. Okay. Now, reason number four. Four reasons. Let's see. Oh, the politics. The politics has gotten out of hand. There, I'm going to just say a couple things. There's some people that is that is in charge. They just, they just need to, They just need to retire. Sit down, retire, enjoy your money. Some of them do not need to be in politics. Um, the country is so divided up by which, whoever's red and whoever's blue. Which causes them to fight back and forth. And unfortunately, the people are in the crossfire. We are in the crossfire of this fight that they have got going on. We won't even talk about the politics towards the elections that we know that's coming on in 2024. I don't want to talk about who should be president. I don't want to even hear about who should be president. Because just in my opinion, um, I'm just going to say, I'm, I'm going to keep quiet on that. I'm going to keep quiet on that. Okay. But the politics is reason number four is why you would want to probably move out and relocate to another country. Okay. Let's see. Reason number five. Reason number five. Okay. Like I stated before, the country is divided. So it's not United States. It's divided states, as some people will say. Well, some people will say divided snakes, but you know, hey you know but there there's many subjects that why people are divided in America in many reasons um racism for one some people don't want to admit that there's racism in um America they don't want to admit it many of us people that look like me have to deal with racism on a daily daily basis we have to deal with it all day every day you know um, another thing that it, religion, religion have gone out of hand. Religion used to be, religion in America used to be about God. It used to be about God. 
going to church, reading the Bible, you know, it, it but now you have other religions that's now trying to come and be a big part of everybody's lives and they're pushing it. You also have the alphabet crew. Yes, I'm calling it the alphabet crew. Y'all know who I'm talking about though. You got the alphabet crew. The alphabet crew is pushing their agenda on the average family. Now I'm seeing that there's more alphabets behind it. So I have something to ask the audience because I know I, I'm, I just don't know because I have not been abroad. So now it's called the there's an I and there's an A plus. Please, someone put in your comments, what does the I stand for? Hmm. I could I could tell you what I think it stands for. But in the comments, what does the I stand for? And what does the A stand for? I didn't realize that it was that many preferences. And then plus, what does the plus stand for? Please, someone put in your comments. Let me know. Because I am going to play dumb on this one. I'm going to play like I don't know because I don't know. Okay. So then you have those kind of things that's dividing up everything. You have, um, okay, number six. I'm not going to say too much about this one. Number six is government. They're trying to control everything from taxes, how much property you can own. Um, I mean, even the, even the money from like the gig work, like people, a lot of people is about that gig life. But now they want to come in and control. I don't know if many of you have heard, but as of March 11th, 2024, uh, supposedly gig work or that gig life is supposed to be illegal. I will put that link down in the bottom as in for as far as what I mean by it's going to be illegal. So they're saying side hustles work that we do on the side is going to be illegal or is it just because they want to be able to get more money or they want to be able to tax it? That's kind of unfair. A lot of people feels that the government is just is taking too much control over your life. Is that true? You let me know. Okay. And then number seven, the crime. There's lots of crime going on in America. A lot of crime going on in America. Now, let me let me say this first of all. There's lots of crime everywhere. Yes, I get it. If you're overseas, you live overseas, whether you live in Africa, whether you live in Europe, whether you live in South America. Yes, there are crimes everywhere there's no place that we can go that there's not going to be crime we speaking on the abundance of crime in america it is a lot of crime on a daily daily basis almost an hourly base okay it's like for example okay i'm right I'm not looking at my notes here hmm. so as far as crime it's so many, it's so much lawlessness. It's so much lawlessness going on in America. It's, 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 huh. I can't even, I, I don't even know what to say on that one. Um, uh, How about the sundown to, um cities? There's a few sundown cities that people that look like me don't want to make sure you get caught in when that sun go down. But they still got that going on. Um, You have rape. You have robberies. You have guns. Okay, let's talk about let's talk about the gut the, the mass shootings real quick. Couple things I've noticed. As of 2024, as of February, here you go, February 15th, and I'll put this information in the comment. As of February 15th, it has been 153 people who has been deleted. I'll say that. Who has who is no longer with us because of um gun um shootings now as far as for gun violence there's been over because of gun violence it's been over 5,000 people that has been deleted gun violence that is really sad that is really really sad now they're trying to state that there is a difference between 
gun violence, and mental health. At this, at this point right now, does it even matter? Do it even matter if it's gun violence and the gun violence is caused by mental health? Does it even matter? Because according to this, 5,000 people that died due to gun violence. I mean, too bad that they don't have an opinion on it anymore. They don't have an opinion on it anymore. So whether it's gun violence or either a mental health, how about instead of just saying mental health, you all, how about just let's accept the fact that there's just some evil people in the world. There's just some evil people in the world or there's just some evil people in the States. And they don't care. So that's my, that's my reason. I mean, that's my seven reasons. And I have, Eight more, you all. I got eight more reasons as into why you should relocate from America. So leave your opinion. Click the like button for me. Subscribe to my channel if you already not a subscriber. Subscribe. I am a, um, how they say, a digital nomad. Someone that's left America to live abroad. I live in Africa and I am living my life out here and I am enjoying it. It has its ups and downs. But I am so less stressed out here in Africa and loving every bit of it. So leave your comments, like, subscribe. Love to hear from you. Stay tuned to the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. If you're not a subscriber, Click the subscribe button so that way you could be notified of our upcoming videos.